Hey everybody, this is the second part of configuring FreeBSD 14.2 on this machine, Lenovo ThinkPad X61. So in the first part, we actually just installed the base system. Now we are going to take it one step further, installing and configuring sudo. Afterwards, we are going to substitute the default shell to bash. And then at the end, we are going to install i3, light DM, and configure whatever things that is necessary to log into a graphical user interface and use i3 of course this is just the way that i prefer to configure this machine because i'm going to use this one for the actual day-to-day -day work once in a while and so based on the machine specification and also my preference i would like to install i3 on it but feel free to use whatever things that you wish so let's start by installing actually sudo so for that i am going to switch to the root user let me type my password and we are going to actually install the sudo package. So pkg install sudo. And now what we have to do is to type vsudo and search for something called vil. And if you go to the next one, this is the one that we want to uncomment. So keep in mind that you need to keep the percentage sign and also make sure that you do not uncomment this one because this allows unprivileged access a uh, privileged access without any sort of like a password once you have done that save the changes and then you need to add your user to the wheel group i have already done it but in case that you didn't just type pw and then group mod wheel or the name of the group that you want to add your user to dash m and then name of your user and then log out from here and then once you go to your user also log out and try to log in again this is necessary to ensure that sudo has already taken effect so to test that i can just type sudo ls and then type my password and we can see it's working so now instead of using anything else and switching to the root user i can just use sudo so let's install bash and bash dash completion package and then we are going to switch the default actually shell to bash so if i do env and then i group it by shell you can see actually my my shell is bean sh or shell so i'm going to change it using sudo uh, chsh dash s and then here if you are using a different actually shell let's say fish or zsh or whatever you need to put a fully qualified path so the same way that uh, like I did and then pass the your user. So now we see that the user information updated. I have to log off and log in again. And now if I if I actually do env and then filter by shell it should be bash. So I have made a typo here let's go up we can see actually we are now using bash the next step is to install i3 and the, any packages necessary to log into a, to the graphical user interface i prefer to install i3 with light dm of course you can use any sort of greeter that you wish but also in case that you don't want to install it it's completely fine you can just use xunit rc to launch your window manager or the desktop environment so to install i3 sudo pkg install i3 i3 blocks so that i can actually format the status bar in any way and simply i3 lock x auto lock x org light dm light dm gtk greeter to make it nicer and also here i would like to install neo vm gtk 
and let me type my password and it should actually tell me that there are 200 packages 288 actually packages that is going to take two gigabytes of space fine no worries i am going to pause this part of the video because it's going to take a while and i will continue afterwards all right so now all the packages have been installed the next step is to add the user to the video group so for that one sudo pw group mod video dash m the name of the user and let me type my password and now what we have to do is actually to kind of add the proc either directory or the partition depends on how actually you configured your system to the fs tab so sudo v slash etc fs tab and i'm going to the to add a new line here proc and s slash proc proc fs read write zero and zero so for each a space i just need to press tab that's why it's called fs tab now what we have to do is to enable light dm so that when we start the system it will basically launches it so for that sudo sysrc light dm underscore enable equals to capital yes and we can even double check it by just do uh, like get the content of the rcconf and here we see actually we have the light dm now what we can do is to reboot the system and we should be able to boot to the graphical user interface see the light dm and afterwards if we type the username and password we should actually go to the i3 environment so let me reboot it and this is going to take a while also so i am going to pause the video and continue it later on all right now the system is booting up and uh, fingers crossed we may actually end up booting in the graphical user interface let's give it a few seconds again and now we should see a graphical user interface and light dm all right so nothing seems that is loading i guess completely black screen here as well as my laptop's lcd so it could be actually something related to the output of the screen so i am going to pause this video and run a bit of troubleshooting by just removing the 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 plug here and then see whether i get any actually things on the screen or no all right so i have made a mistake somewhere i am going to explain it later but first let me actually log in we can see actually the i3 is loading and we are going to use the win key so what was the problem so i have missed something actually and that one is to add the to enable the bus so for that what you have to do is type sysrc dbus underscore enable equal to yes and once you have done it then you should be good to go otherwise light dm doesn't load you can do a start x but light team doesn't work all right we back on the graphical user interface on i3 and if i type new fish you should see something of course the screen resolution is really not well prepared with this capturing i have to look into it and definitely i'm going to also record a video about it that's all about this video i see you in the next one have a great time cheers i want to thank all of the amazing patreon and coffee supporters your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content thanks again for your generosity and contribution